Good afternoon, everybody. I saw a question today on the Premiere 2 Ultra software. The lady wanted to create multiple patches in one hoop. So she wanted to be able to stitch out all the outlines, stop the machine, place down the applique fabric, tack it down, stop again to trim the applique fabric, and finally complete the satin stitch for all of them and use in that sequence. And that's what I'm going to try and show you how to do. So I have opened up the Create module in Premiere 2 Ultra. And this is the Express Design Wizard, which shows when you open it. And we're going to come down to the bottom option and say Start Design with No Picture and click on that. Click on Next. It's going to open in the draw window, which is what we want. Click on Next. I'm going to leave the hoop. It's the largest hoop my brother 670 can use. So I'm going to leave that and say Finish. And here we are in the Create Draw window. So this is the Draw tab in the Create module. Over here on the right hand side, you've got the Shapes menu. If I click on it, it gives you a drop down list and there are 75 different shapes and you can do this with all of them. It will work with all of them. There are two options, draw from the center or draw from the corner. I'm going to select draw from the corner. I'm going to come up and draw a, tech, draw a rectangle up here and I'm just doing an approximate size for this video. I'm going to come down to the zoom button which is zoom to rectangle, click on it to activate it and just click and drag around this so I zoom in and you can see better what I'm going to do. At this point we need to swap over to the quick create module and usually on default it will come up with pattern fill switched on and satin line. We're going to click on the top half to deactivate pattern fill and we're going to click on the top of applique to switch that on. At the bottom there is a downward pointing triangle and if you click on that it will say select applique fabric. You can pick whichever color you like. There's lots of fabric choices in here. I have learned a great deal. In fact, most of everything I know from Simply Diana and Coffee Online we uh, Club, and I can't recommend it highly enough. I do suggest you go there and join. I'm going to pick the green fabric and click OK. In order to actually apply the Create the Patch, I'm going to go to Quick Stitch and then hover over the line till I get an arrow. If you don't see an arrow, it won't work. And I just missed it, so I'll do it again. Once you see the dotted lines, you can simply click on OK and it's created a patch. And if we go to Design Player and run it through very quickly, you'll see it creates the tack down stitch. Then it tells you to stop. It'll stop and say place the applique fabric then it will tack down the applique fabric. Then it will stop again and say, right, now you need to trim it or cut around the applique. And then finally it will do the satin stitch. And that just goes through very quickly. So let's just cancel that. Now, in order to be able to stop and start it when you want to, to be able to trim multiples, we need to break this apart. And we do that by going to the Home tab pressing box select and making sure this is selected. Then we're going to go to the edit tab and say break apart. And this shows you the different stages. It does a running stitch. It gives you a stop command. That's when it generates the information. Then it shows the applique fab piece being applied. Then the tack down stitch. There is another stop to trim it. And then finally the satin stitch. My brother 670 does not accept the stop commands. I believe Husqvarna and Faf ones do, but mine doesn't, so I get rid of them. So if I click on the stop, press delete on my keyboard, and this one, and press delete on my keyboard, they disappear. The applique piece is just showing you that's when you attach it, so we don't need that one either. So we're going to click on that one, we're going to leave it there for a minute because it shows up actually when I think about it. We're going to leave it for the second. But in order to be able to stop and start the machine, 
on the 670, I find the easiest thing to do is click on Running Stitch, go back to the Quick Create, click on the down arrow and choose a different colour. So now the first running stitch is going to be placed in that. Then the applique piece, we're going to insert another colour change. This is in order to stop the machine. This is the only reason we're doing this. We're going to click on the double stitch and change that one to, I don't know, red. A stop in the end. So now if we go to the design player, you'll see that it runs through the tack down outline. Then it shows the applique fabric being tacked down and then finally it will show the satin stitch being created and that's what we want. So now we can export this or we can transfer it. If we go to the Home tab under the Copy menu on the downward pointing arrow we click on Copy Embroidery and then I'm going to change over to the Embroidery module. I'm going to come up to Paste and Paste into Center just for the moment. And you can see the blue is the outline, the pink is the tack down for the applique fabric and the red is for the satin stitch. Let's go to the Letter tab and we're going to type in Test or Trial. Let's put Test and click Apply. I'm going to put that roughly on, on top of the applique one and the first thing I'm going to do is change the colour and you do that by coming over to the right hand side here double click on it and I'm going to pick white because I think it'll show up better possibly not but we'll see but I know I've got blue in there somewhere so I just want a different colour so I'm very clear you can actually increase the size of this if you wish to to make sure it's nice and centred come to the home tab and you can use select all since you only have one there come to the alignment click on horizontal alignment align center alignment vertical alignment align middle and now you're centered while it's all together there what you want to do is combine all so it's now one piece if we look at the stitch out now you'll find that it will do the tack down sorry the outline, I keep calling it tack down, I don't know why it does the outline first so you know where to put the fabric then it does the tack down, then it does the satin stitch and then it'll do the text but actually you really want the text to come before it does the satin stitch so I'm going to go while it's still selected to the modify module I'm going to select the white which we know is the text color and move it up one and now it'll be in the right place let's go back over and change to the home tab if we now duplicate it, and let's move that down, remember my grid squares are only 10 millimeters, so I've got to give myself quite a bit of room in order to be able to get the scissors in and trim the fabric, which you need to be able to do. Uh, we can duplicate one more, and let's move it down. And if you want to make sure that they're all roughly aligned, what you can do is select all, come to the alignment, horizontal alignment, align center and then horizontal alignment, vertical alignment this time and say distribute, distribute vertically and that will just make it nice and evenly spaced. You may notice over here we have now got 12 colors where we only had four when we started so again while they're all selected and if they're not you can come up and use select all, click on combine all and then click on color sort. At this point let's click on the design player and now if I run this through you'll see it will do all the tack downs, all of the stitching in order and I believe that's what you want to do. I do hope you find this helpful. Uh, good luck with it. I'd love to see what you make. Thank you much for listening.